In this video, we are going to implement the view model inside our application. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Master Coding Channel on the Complete Android Developer Course. As I told you, we need to implement the view model here and start the next video to uh, make the repositories and uh, get the data, live data from the remote data source using retrofit and then display it to the activity. First step here, in order to implement the view model, I will create a new package called view models. And inside the view models, I will create a new class called movie list view model. This is the view model of the movie list that we are going to create. Now, I have this class. I'm using the uh, light and the white uh, and the default theme for Android Studio. If uh, if you want me to uh, use the dark theme, please comment it below. Uh, use the dark, dark theme in order to see if we continue with the dark theme or the light uh, theme. Now, this class, this class is used is used for view model I'm annotating everything in order to if you want to get the code the source code you can download it from the resources on our Udemy course the link below and uh, get everything detailed and uh, lectured and you know everything uh, no need to search for the videos I will create first of all the private mutable mutable live data you see, I have imported or Android Studio imported the Android X lifecycle.mutable live data. The mutable live data acts as a live data. It is a subclass of live data. I told you here that we have a live data inside our view model. So implementing this live data is done by the private the making an instance of a mutable live data that extends the live data um, class. I will create here a list of movie. Okay, a list of movie. It's importing my Android class. I will uh, change it movie model. It is the movie model. Okay, and I will insert the package and I will call it M movies equal new mutable live data. So this is the M movies live data. Okay, this is live data extending the mutable live data extending from the or inherits from the live data. Now the constructor I will make constructor. I will click Alt plus insert and constructor and make a movies. This is the private and movies list. Okay, I will make it as empty. Okay, and I will create a, a public public live data and here I will pass the list of movies movie model and I will get get movies in this way I'm making a method here in order to get the live data and return this is the getter m movies. This is the getters of the data that we have created. You can write it or you can add a getters by clicking Alt plus insert and getter. Okay. In this way, we have finished making the movie list a view model, which is acts as a movie, mo uh, which is acting as a view model class, and. Now I will need to uh, add it into the main activity. So in order to make the link 
in order to make the link between the main activity and the view model i need to instantiate it in the main activity so remember moving list view model is a view model class going back to the movie list activ uh, activity i will create here i will create here let me increase the size and i will make here live sorry view model and a private private movie list activity or sorry view model and m view model movie movie list view model okay i will remove this and create movie list view model instantiating the view model here by making a view model provider dot of providers dot of here we have an error so i will solve that it by checking the documentations of the uh, the view model latest maybe there is um uh, changes so as i told you view model providers dot of has been deprecated i will replace it by view model provider i will pass this and i will put here the the get and i will get my view model movie list view model dot class okay in this way we have implemented the view model move the list view model let me check insert a new okay it is making a new new view model provider okay in this way we have inserting it now in order to solve this error here this we need to update the gradle the latest version so i have here the life cycle version i will use 2.2 because this is the latest version of life cycle now it has synced correctly and let's close this and the error has been solved now i have an error here why because if you see reason no instance of type variable exists so that the movie uh, movie list view model confirms uh, conforms to view model we need to extend the view model to the movie list view model extending the extending extends view model so we need to tell the android studio that this class extends the view model and represent the view model for our application. So my problems has been solved, the errors has been solved, and let me use to remove this, and I will collapse this and collapse this. In the main activity, I will make here an observer. So. I told you that in life cycle, in live data, there are observers. The observers need to listen or observe for any data change. So think it for uh, uh, as listeners, listening for any change. So the observers observe for any data change. Now I will create a method here to observe the data. Getting or observing let me use the observe observing any data change okay i will start here by making private void observe any change and it is void and here we go we need 
to add the observers for our view model. For that, I will need movie list view model dot get movies and dot observe. This is the observe. So the owner is this and the new observer and the list of view model and on data change here we comes for any observing for any data change this we are going to uh, this method we are going to implement here on day on change and later videos in order to listen for any changes and get them into the recycler view and display the the results thank you guys this is uh, for uh, the view model and the observers in this video. Next videos, we are going to talk about repositories, changing the UI and, in, and the activities. Thank you guys. See you next video.